Okay, so here we are at the Hui uh, Imperial City. Uh, just uh, going to go for a bit of a walk along here. Because I'm wearing my sunnies, I can't really see the screen all that well. Um, so hopefully it's not too dark. I'm about to walk into the sunlight. Um, we're just inside the in inner walls. Just came through that gate uh, with a grab. Um, but you can see it's pretty busy. Look at the amount of people all coming in through the inner walls. Only reason you'd have for coming in here is because you're doing something inside the city itself. Pretty cool looking place. That flag you can see from my hotel room, uh, but you can't see anything else of the premises. Really, really nice parklands on the outside. So the plan is I'm going to do a whole bunch of videos. I'm not going to do a director cut like this all the way through them. I just thought this might be a cool way to uh, just kick it off. I've actually never used the director cut before, so I'm actually quite keen to see how this will uh, merge in with the rest of the videos. But uh, just going to walk along here for a bit. Um, the plan is to spend a few day, a few uh, a few hours here, checking the place out. Um, the grab driver told me that it's very busy today, which surprises me because it's summer, which is the off season for uh, Vietnam. Um, it's pretty hot, forecasted to uh, hit 36 today. Um, it's not cripplingly hot. I've, I've had hotter here, but yeah, it's still hot enough to make things interesting. Um, so anyway, uh, just looking over this way, I think that must be the way the gate is to go in, where you buy the tickets. Looks like a little pagoda thing where people are buying tickets. So yeah, that's where I'm going to go. Then I'm just going to do standard video for the rest of the walk around. Before we walk into the uh, facility, it's worth making a point regarding the difference between the Citadel and the Forbidden Purple Palace. That being that there are two compounds and on this map you can see uh, initially what most tourists think is the entire Citadel, which is actually the uh, the Forbidden Purple Palace, which is the traditional home of the emperors of the day. In this bigger picture, you can see that the Forbidden Palace is actually a small part inside a bigger citadel. The, the bigger citadel is actually part of the residential and commercial district around um, the palace as it stands now. There are shops, there are people who live there. So my earlier comment about how busy it was and those people only having reason to come into the citadel, well, actually, they probably live there or work there. Um, I didn't actually fully comprehend this until after I'd walked out. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's really interesting that there are actually two walled compounds in one complex. The point of entry into the Imperial Citadel is through what's called the Meridian Gate. Uh, this was built in 1833 and it's the one of the largest gates into the complex. It's um, even now it's commonly used as a, uh, a backdrop or a venue for major festivities for the uh, city of Hue. Sadly, large sections of the Citadel have been damaged over time from uh, just time passing itself and also, unfortunately, through wars. Uh, for example, during the Tet Offensive um, in 1968, uh, the Meridian Gate uh, and many other sections of the complex were uh, significantly damaged. So there's quite a lot of restoration happening uh, throughout the complex.
Okay, so now we're on the other side of the uh, the complex, and uh, on the map earlier in the video, you might have noticed there were markings for buildings that were no longer present. This section is a really good example of uh, where there were buildings in the past that have been lost over time for one reason or another, whether that be uh, just the uh, degradation over time or uh, as a consequence of war. Okay, well, that brings me to the end of the uh, the video for the Imperial City in uh, Hawaii. Um, I could have spent hours here filming. This uh, place is so beautiful, so incredible. Um, if you haven't been there, you really need to go. It's a brilliant place. If you like this video, please make sure you like it, subscribe, share it if you can, and don't forget to hit the notification bell, all the usual stuff. Um, I've got two more videos coming related to Hawaii itself, which is definitely my favourite city so far in Vietnam. Uh, stay tuned for them. Thanks for watching, folks. So catch you in the next one.